Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl Twin D, and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel. And if you're new here, welcome, 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 my longtime subscribers. Big up on yourself, enough respect, and thank you for the continuous support, guys. I have a 911 message for you. I've already sent my prayer because I wanted to hurry up and get this done. I really needed to get this message out. So, anyways, let's get into it. So, your divine masculine, it's like they are realizing something here about who they are. They're realizing that there is something about them that is different because what they were doing or what they are actually doing at this time, it's like they were just pushing you away. They were pushing you away because of some sort of deceptive energy. Whether this deceptive energy was coming from themselves or it was coming from somebody else around them. But whatever or whomever this energy is, this energy is responsible for your divine masculine's uh, stagnation, if I could say that. This person never had any kind of self-worth. They never appreciated themselves. They never loved themselves. That was also coming from that deception that caused them to feel like they were no good to themselves or to anyone else. And when they met you, it's like you're bringing that or you were bringing that out of them, showing them how much they can achieve, how much of a better person they can be if they just started to love themselves. So when this person met you or when you met them, it's like they're realizing like, hey, like I can finally do this, I can finally do that. Something they were never encouraged to do. They were never encouraged to be themselves. They were never encouraged to do better. Everything, it was just like a put down. Every time they did something, they were made to feel like, yes, that's who you are. Someone who always screws up. But now that you enter their life, they are realizing, like, listen, I don't have to stay this way. I do not have to be this person who is always sad. This person is always angry. This person is always shutting people out because I'm scared of hurting them or I'm scared of showing them that I'm not worthy of anything or that I'm not good for anything. So your person right now is coming around to some sort of like epiphany here. Like I am a, a good person. I am meant for greatness. So this person is removing this block that has been surrounding them all their life. Something triggered this. Because the next message I'm getting is that triggers are meant to be cleared. So your person is realizing that what was affecting them, what caused them hurt, what caused them pain, it was not for them to just sit down and stay where they are and cry over everything that happened to them. These things that happen is for them to remove them, to clear them from their system so that they are able to be this greatness that they see themselves as. They're seeing themselves like this big furious lion ready to take charge of anything anywhere this is how they are seeing themselves because they are realizing that they are better than what people made them out to be your person has been blocking people off for a very very long time it's like from they have known themselves, they have been blocking people out. So divine feminines, when these masculines, whomever it is that they are, when they block you out, it wasn't anything personal. It was not because you were a problem. It's because that's how their life has been. That's how they were made to, to feel, to believe, to live block everybody out because it's like no goodness is worthy of their presence and now they are just dusting themselves off this person has been um, looking reevaluating their life and realizing like i am the one who blocked things out of my life i never gave anybody a chance 
in my life. So they're realizing like this is not a defense mechanism, but it's something that's stopping me from my greatness. So what you're doing right now, they're balancing their energy. They're fighting, they're trying to balance their energy. And one of this energy that they're trying to balance is this energy of love. Because right now their love is overflowing inside. The love for you and the love for themselves. Because Divine Feminines, you played a part in this Divine Masculine realizing who they truly are. Realizing that love does exist. Realizing that people, well not people, but there is someone who when they say I love you, they mean it. So right now this person is missing you. They're wishing they could see you. They're wishing they could talk to you. They're wishing that you were near them. This person wants to make you an offer. This person wants you in their life. This person sees you like this guiding angel. This person that helped me out of my sorrows, out of my pain, out of my, my depression. This person helped me to see who I truly am. So it's like whatever is happening with your person right now, it's like they're just receiving all this download, all this message. There's even some crying going on. And that's because they're feeling everything from deep down in their hearts. They love you. That's what they're saying to themselves. I love you. And this is why they're going to fight to balance this energy on the inside. To balance this, this, I don't even want to say hatred. It's not hatred because they don't hate themselves. But it, it, it's hard for them to love themselves because of what they were taught and how they were grown. 717. So they are looking forward to this reunion with you. They are looking to offer in, offering you their cup of love. They want this reunion because they are missing you. They're dying inside because they miss you. And it's that feeling, that missing you, that absence that's causing them to realize that they were really pushing love away. 747. Seven. Your person right now is asking you, Divine Feminine, to stand strong. For both of us in 757. So this is truly some spiritual intervention that's happening here with all these sevens. Everything that's happening is on divine timing. The right time, the right moment. Nothing could change before the right time. So Divine Feminine, it didn't matter how much you, you spoke to them. It didn't, matter, it didn't matter how much you tried to make them see that they were a blessing to themselves, to others, to God. You could not have changed what was happening with this person. Because they had to figure it out on their own. Things you have said in the past... Things you have done in the past played a part in them realizing this. But you could not have done anything to push this action to unfold before it's time. So right now, because they're realizing their self-worth, they're asking you to stand strong for both of us. And if this message is for you, you will receive a message from your person because they are thinking of being with you. They are thinking of communicating with you because they are getting stronger. This person wants to communicate with you badly because again, they're realizing that they weren't blocking their heart off so that it could stay protected when they pushed you away. But instead, you were that love, that light the only love and light in their life that kept them going. And now they're longing for you. So if this message is for you, there will be some form of communication coming in. I don't know what form of communication it will be, but it will happen. It could be a text message, a dream, 
something. But you will know when you receive this message. Because this person wants to reach out to you so, so badly. There's something that you need to know, Divine Feminine, in regards to this 911 emergency message. And it is, it's to let you know that you are almost there. You're almost there. The time is now. It is the moment for you to receive what you have been working so hard to receive. Because you are focused on God. Because you're asking God to guide your life. Because you are focused on your self-love. Because you are not focusing on where the masculine is. Because you're not focused on what you're doing and why they're not with you. It is triggering your masculine to clear their negative energy. Hence putting everything in place that needs to happen. And this is what happens when you pull away and you start to do you. You trigger the changes that are needed, that are necessary. Your person has been deceiving themselves for a very long time. And that's because that's how others taught them to be deceptive. So they may not have shown you their true self. They may not have shown you what their heart really holds for you. But now they want to do that. And they want to let you know that if you can't trust, how can you believe? And if you can't believe, how can you achieve? This is something coming from the spiritual world. This is something coming from their 5D self. Because I have this message again from God. So it's both God and your divine masculines are saying the same thing. And it's to help the divine feminine to align themselves, to focus on themselves. So the three of you can be aligned. Your masculine, yourself, and God. That's what this twin flame journey is about. The alignment. If you are out of alignment, then there's no union. But because whoever this divine feminine is, because you're putting in that work, because you're loving yourself, because you're focusing on God, because you're allowing God to guide your life, everything is falling into place. When you want to make a decision about your life, about what to do next, talk to God about it. That's how you incorporate God into your life. Don't just jump and do something because I think it's right. You are God's servant. And in order to get perfect instructions without failure, you ask the person giving you the job, giving you the description of what you need to do. I lighten things for you, putting you on the path you need to be. Because God also wants you to know that you need to have faith. To have faith is to trust. To trust is to believe. And to believe is to achieve. So you understand now why I say that both the messages here are coming from your masculine and God. Encouraging you to push through, to keep going. To keep the focus on, your, on you, on your self-growth, on your development. Everything will be put into place. Once you realize that your focus needs to be on God and you. Again, whomever this message is for, there will be some form of communication from your person. God loves you. And he's telling you how to put yourself in alignment so you can receive the greatness that you were promised. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thanks to everyone who, who is watching those commercials, guys. Thank you so, so much, those ads. Because that's how you put food on my table. So thank you. I love you all. Big ups to all my new subscribers. Love you. Let go and let God. Focus on yourself. That's all 
that matters. Yourself and God are right and everything else around you will fall into the right place at the right time. Love you all. Lick one God. Later.